Oh my gosh, why does it... Why does it look so much brighter? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a clean with me video. Bathing the kids right now, they're like right here, so that's probably why you can hear the water running and then their voices. I wanted to just hop on here and kind of give you guys a little rundown of the video. So I have been like working 40 hours a week. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that I've been a stay-at-home mom for like about four and a half years since my first daughter was born, like a little bit before I had her. So I just recently started my student teaching. It's kind of like an internship, I guess. You don't get paid, but you have to do it to complete your degree so I'm doing my bachelor's in elementary education so I am working like 40 hours a week which is very new to me so we've been figuring things out uh, my husband stays home with the kids while I'm at work and then when I come home like we switch he has been a huge help so yeah I just wanted to kind of come on here and give you guys a little update just because things are a little bit different in our routine so I do do bedtime and all that stuff like Monday through Thursday by myself. I don't work Fridays. So this is just kind of what I've been doing just because I don't want to come home and like right when I get home start cleaning up. So usually we do dinner and like I just hang out with the kids and try not to you know be too busy. So this is definitely the best time that I can get some cleaning done just so that way I can leave things nice and ready as much as I can for my husband tomorrow because I know the feeling of you know just waking up to a messy house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see all the things that I clean today before bed, just go ahead and keep on watching. So I do like to get the kids ready uh, for bed about a whole like hour, 45 minutes before they actually have to go down. So the reason I like to do this is because I go to bed around the same time that they go to bed now, just because I do get up way earlier than I used to. So I set them up on the table with an activity. I really like doing this as opposed to putting on TV for them because they watch movies and stuff all throughout the day. So I feel like this is a good way for them to unwind and I can start cleaning up. So if you guys have seen my other clean with me videos, you know I like to just do one room at a time usually and I just make piles and then I take those piles to the other rooms that they belong. So yeah, the whole downstairs was pretty messy. The only place I was clean was pretty much the kitchen, the dishes were washed and like all my counters were clean it was just the island that was a little bit messy the kids really just take all their stuff to different parts of the room even though they have a playroom to play in but it was very messy and this is when they start branching out even more to other areas of the house they do help me clean I do require them to help me clean up so there are times where I'll spend a whole hour cleaning up because I am delegating to them to help me. But then there are times where I don't have that kind of time and I just need to do it myself. So at this point they were still awake so they were helping me a little bit. They were taking their shoes where they belong and all that stuff. So. This is just how I've taught them how to clean up. I can literally just give them something and they know exactly where it goes. So I will get as far as I can with my cleaning while the kids are awake and then once it is their bedtime, I will just take them upstairs, lay them down and then keep on going. So it gives me a really good head start so I can get to sleep on time myself. So as far as this playroom, I took out the little bin system that I had in there and I put it in my closet. If you have not seen that video, I cleaned out my downstairs closet. I will link it above or down below. But yeah, so I took that out of there and I do have other toys in there that I'll switch out. But in here, I bought these baskets and they have worked so well. They have a lot of little figurines that they love to play with, which is the third basket right there. The first basket, I just put all of their Barbie dolls in there we condensed those a lot and then the second one I like to put their markers and colored pencils and stuff that go along with their paper stuff down there and then on the very last one right here that you see me stuffing that thing in there is all their pretend stuff so they their doctor stuff their little hairstyling stuff they have this little dentist uh, play-doh thing where they have all these those little pieces so everything like gl sunglasses glasses like things that they play pretend and stuff I put it in there it's overflowing a little bit but it's fine it, it, that way they can just find it and they know exactly where it is and it's 
like open so they don't have to dig through a huge bin that was the only pet peeve that i have with the bins when you have smaller toys so these have worked out for me i bought them on amazon for like seven dollars each and the only bin that i have left in here is that gray one right there and i put all of the baby stuff in there so any baby clothes bottles you know anything like that and then in the little baby crib i put all the babies in there oh and i also want to mention that little unicorn a uh, treasure chest looking thing over there uh, underneath the whiteboard that is kind of just like a free for all box i do put all the extra barbie clothes and shoes all the shoes the purses the little accessories that go with the barbies in there just because uh, it's a lot smaller than the bins and it just keeps it more condensed and it's just easier to find when they're looking for smaller things like little furnitures that are really small like I put them in there so it's just kind of like a like a free-for-all bin for extra stuff so not only do I like to make piles while I clean but I will throw things in the direction of where they go so instead of like having to walk back and forth to just place it down in a pile I will make various piles like around the room so you'll see me kind of tossing things in the direction of the kitchen or the colored pencils and markers area and the baby area stuff like that so now that I have space on the floor because it was pretty much there was like no space I will start actually putting things where they belong so after I finish sorting all of the kitchen stuff, I have the food in one and the dishes and utensils in the other one. I'm going to move on to their little craft area. So I bought these little trays. I can't even remember. I think we bought them at Ikea. I could be wrong. I don't know, maybe Target. But they're super helpful. They can move them around and they can or keep them in one spot. We usually just keep them here in this spot. And if they want a table, they just take it with them. But yeah, they're super nice. They have big slots, small ones, and then the ones for pencils and stuff. So I like to take all their single papers that I know that they kind of want to keep and put them in those little bins that they have down there so here's my my clean kitchen i had some stuff over there on the rack that i needed to throw out that it was just old leftovers but yeah now i'm just gonna make my lunch this is something that is so helpful for me i make my lunch at night like the night before so that way i can just grab my lunch bag and go my lunch seems super basic but i do have a salad in there and this is just for just in case i'm hungry after my salad but yeah i'm definitely going to be doing a nighttime or sunday routine video for you guys now that i'm working so stay tuned for that but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed it here's all the rooms that i cleaned i was watching dr phil and the playroom and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be back with another one very soon i have tons of plans for videos coming up so i will see you guys next time bye